often times we get a lot of questions on any ten embed and how the licensing work so stefan our head of revenue wants to help you with that heading over to uh, stefan to learn how to build software faster with any ten embed take it away stefan thank you harshal i uh, appreciate that intro um for those of you who don't know me i'll introduce myself real quick stefan ana head of revenue i've been with nnn a few months now and i'm excited to all meet you all in person someday but for now we'll do this remote um let's jump right in so oh let me move this so we see a problem or we often hear this and it's that native integrations and custom workflows are looking to become more powerful as the proliferation of a SaaS is becoming more relevant and they're looking to add new features to their products. And of course, time and resources are always um, constraining factors here. So in the last three months, I've had about 100 plus conversations with different folks from around the globe, including C-levels, technical architects, developers, et cetera. You can see some of their feedback here, but a lot of them are trying to decide whether they need to build or buy a lot of this functionality that they're looking for in their solution. They're having a hard time maintaining new integrations that they've built or others are trying to keep competitors out of their space. They're looking to add new features as part of their core product and rather focus on the core development of their products rather than maintaining integrations that they simply need to pull and push data, for example. And others are looking to automate certain parts of their software product that uh, have uh, repetitive tasks have come up quite frequently. And you can see um, not only are they uh, different roles that we are speaking with here, but also they come from a lot of different uh, industry verticals. So it could be security software, e-commerce platforms, healthcare, um, and again, like I mentioned before, this is quite a global effort. So we're talking to folks from South America to obviously Europe and the US as well, but also have a lot of interest from South Africa and uh, the Far East. Um, and if we move on to the next slide, we see here that the solution to this is uh, introducing software to accelerate the product development and reduce the maintenance effort. And here, what they're looking for is, of course, speed, adoption, flexibility, and quality. And uh, they want to have the ability to communicate some of this to non-technical folks, so they're looking for a low-code approach, um, maintaining uh, product stickiness with native integrations, flexible hosting options, the availability to have access to the source code, and of course, maintaining the quality for both uh, their internal workforce and their end users. Here at Enid and Embed, some of the technical features that they um, take advantage of are of course, our ability to host both on-prem and on the cloud. Uh, we have customers who need to keep specific parts of their user base completely off the internet, for example, we have someone who has it out at an island somewhere and it's completely disconnected from any other data sources. So that's a great option for them. We have others who are moving into the cloud, even in the financial services space. And here they're able to control their own data and maintain the security. Um, as many of you know, we've been working very hard on our native integrations. We call them nodes. We have weekly releases and we're well over 350 nodes at the moment. And of course, this gives immediate access to our embed customers to a library of API connectors that we've built and maintain, and that reduces the development effort. We also have a large partner base that we work with that we're uh, able to create nodes on their side that are specific to our customer's business. And we provide out of the box backend logic so that they can rapidly create automations such as email alerts, sending data, writing data. This overall reduces the amount of code that they need to maintain within their own solution. And automation capabilities. So they're looking for a workflow automation engine 
to accelerate their time to market in order for them to focus on, again, their core solution, whether that be uh, enabling dashboards for their customers, building different tools, or looking to solve the specific user problems that they see in their market. Some additional advantages that edit and embed customers get are the ability to inspect the code for vulnerabilities and investigate bugs without waiting for our support. The low barrier to entry, we have a very stable commercial model where we have a revenue share as a standard. So there's no minimum annual fee and our customers get to control the cost of their end users. So as their product improves over the time that they've integrated N8N and additional functionalities, they can then pass this cost off to their customers as they see that they're driving more value without worrying that the vendor may increase costs along the way. Furthermore, I've mentioned this before, we have a global network partner list of N8N experts. So they help our customers speed up their development and um, ramp up their internal teams when it comes to workflow capabilities in terms of building custom workflows for their users or developing nodes that are specific to their business. We're backed by world-class VC and angel investors. So we're financially stable in terms of um, our long-term goals. It's to increase adoption globally of N8N, but also to build a strong revenue driving part of the business. And this is what we're planning to do with N8N Embed. So our customers on the embed side enjoy open-ended relationships with us on the software side of things. The commercial agreement has no um, term to it, meaning that they have uh, the overall confidence that they've chosen a vendor that they can grow with over the next five to 10 years. Of course, most of you know this, we're backed by a strong community. So not only is it the internal teams, that are pushing the product forward. But when our customers choose to have new integrations be part of the core product by submitting pull requests, um, they, may, they take advantage of the community, of course, building and giving feedback on those integrations. And this again, improves the overall quality and uh, experience of their end users. We recently reached 19,000 stars on GitHub, which is a major achievement. And again, this speaks to the viability and the confidence that the embed side of the business needs to have in the overall vendor that our customers choose. One final thought, um, the new joint venture that we seek is by having an improved OEM technology embedded in our customers' applications. This of course provides increased value to their end customers we enjoy a new revenue stream and the licensee, our embed customers, will be the benefits of having specialized experts as part of their vendor network. The end customer is the beneficiary of a new and improved solution and everybody wins. So I invite everyone who is interested in um, becoming an embed prospect to download the GitHub code directly from GitHub and access some of these resources here. Once you started to build and integrate and you're interested in finding more about the specific licensing terms and how we become partners, you can simply email us at license at NANN.io and I'm happy to have a conversation with you and answer any questions that you have and also perhaps put you in touch with a few of our customers that have so far uh, enjoyed um, a special relationship with us. Thanks to everyone for your time and happy to take questions.